Chips and semiconductors literally make our connected world just work. They are used in every industry. And I think you've seen over the past few years with the supply chain issues because of the pandemic, really how much we do rely on them. And again, like they're in our toys, they're in our appliances, like our dishwashers, fridges, washing machines. And probably one of the biggest hit industries would be the automotive industry. Chips are used in literally every part of the car. They control the windshield uh, wipers, the braking system, you name it, it's there. And you know, if you look at uh, internal combustion engine cars, gas powered cars, there's literally over 1000 chips that are being used in the vehicle. And if it's an electric vehicle, that amount doubles. So when these manufacturers are trying to make the cars of the future, but they can't get that 50 cent chip, it kind of slows down the whole manufacturing process. So when you look at this technology, the chips and the semiconductors, there's one area that really stands out and that would be Taiwan. It's where all the magic happens. One of the big companies there, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, formed back in 1987. This company supplies a lot of the chips to companies around the world. And there's other great examples of these companies too. Uh, for example, Foxconn, they make all the iPhones and the iPads. And speaking of more innovation, Foxconn, they have another division called Foxtron. And their goal is to produce and manufacture 5% of the world EV market by 2025. Amazing. There's also Giant Bicycles. They're one of the largest bicycle manufacturers uh, on the planet. And they're getting heavy into the whole e-bike market uh, as well. So there's no doubt, when you think technology, there are many different areas, cities and countries around the world, but there's one island that really drives a lot of that innovation, and that is Taiwan.